So Kylie, one week at mocap <laughs> in the books. What was it like? Oh my gosh, well day one was definitely very humbling, um, but then by the end it was so much fun. The Burning Shores picks up right after the events of Horizon Forbidden West. So this is endgame content. Aloy is going to meet a new companion, and she's going to have to unravel a new mystery. Oh, you know how to hold your own. The name's Seika. Aloy. I could uh, say the same about you. What Aloy struggles with is interpersonal relationships. And since Forbidden West, she's learned that there's no point in saving the world if I'm not connecting with the people in it. Aloy is used to being the person that comes in. This is what we're doing. I have the knowledge. So I'm really excited for people to meet Seika because she's such a different character than we've had before. Aloy may have met her match a little bit. All right, well, welcome to day two. Woo! Joining this huge franchise was such an honor. I'm beyond blessed and filled with gratitude to have this opportunity to work with this team. Zero, one, two, three. It's my first week of mocap. I am totally brand new to this, so it was, it was intimidating. Getting into the suit and, and the helmet and the cameras, it was very foreign to me, so I was forced to use my imagination in a way that I never have before, and it was awesome. Once I found that freedom, I was like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> You use the environment, like maybe okay. there's waves over there, mm -hmm. there's seagulls in the sky, yeah, okay. I'm just trying to paint a picture oh, a little yeah. bit. Ashley is amazing to learn from. How she uses her voice, how she uses her body, how she uses her face. Like, I was just taking it all in, and that was extremely informative. I felt very comfortable just casually running lines with her. I think we have a very similar way of working. What are we on? Oh wow, gosh. okay. Yeah. Hey. 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 <laughs> it's very important to me as the person portraying the lead for people to feel like they're coming into an environment where they're welcomed, respected, appreciated, and also as a performer, that I'm being present with her, that I'm locked in, that I'm giving as much as I can. And it's really cool to see her learning this process so quickly. It's actually quite similar to Seika <laughs> in the universe, and she's crushing it. Okay. We're doing this. Seika is a Quen, one of our tribes, but the Quen are very prescriptive about who can be what type of role in the tribe. Seika's a warrior, she's a fighter. Because she's so similar to Aloy, there is a sort of strange power dynamic that Aloy is not used to. Another strong, can I say badass? Another strong, badass woman warrior, somebody that matches her level. I don't think she's ever seen that before. Seika also has more of a community. Aloy is kind of this lone ranger, but it's interesting how Seika ends up sharing that aspect along with Aloy. When we were auditioning and, and I saw Kylie, it, it was pretty awesome because what really drew me to her was she got mad. This character is a good fighter. She's really independent. She's someone who's gonna do things her own way, but we also needed vulnerability. Someone who really has a lot of emotional intensity. And Kylie really brought both sides to that equation. But it was really that spark of anger where it was kind of like, oh yeah, this, this is really gonna work. And action. There's something you're not telling me. Ugh, you're just like a diviner full of secrets. <laughs> oh yeah? What about you? The way you reacted to that mural in the ruin? Care to explain? I think the key to bringing something new to the franchise really has to do with new mysteries. A new way that the ancient world or the tribal world really grabs Aloy. And that's got to be interconnected with her character, her personality, her history, and what she's going to learn about herself.
every new story brings something else that she's addressing or, or facing that isn't even just about the mission, it's about her and what's going on with her. Seika's biggest motivation is the love that she has for her family, for her tribe, for the people and the world. Watching Seika through this journey will really open up people's eyes to what it means to love.